so I will be continuing on Lao Tzu. So before we know anything about his religion, we must first of all find about his biography. So his father was named Li Jing, uh, his mother was named Lady Yu So, or otherwise known as M Ji Tian Empress. He had a son named uh, <laughs> Lu Zong. So um, we, I could not find much about his biography, his childhood life. So all I know is that he was born in between the 5th and the 6th century in the state of Chu, which is uh, a part of the Zhou dynasty. So he served as the royal royal keeper. Uh, he served as the keeper of the arch rule in the court of Zhou. Uh, so basically a librarian of some sort. Uh, so as he was the librarian of the court of Zhou, he had uh, access to all the numerous books of the library. So he went on to create. He read all those books. And he went on to create his own philosophy, which was, uh, which could be known today as Taoism before, but now it would be known as Taoism if you're not familiar with it. So uh, he also met Confucius. The both of them would discuss on ritual matters. Uh, so and Confucius always praised highly, praised him highly, uh, and. Uh, as the Zhou court started to decline and it became extremely corrupted, so Lao Tzu actually decided to depart and live a simple and humble life in the wilderness. So as he was going, as he was riding an ox through the Hanbu Pass, uh, the commander of that pass, Yin Shi, actually recognized Lao Tzu and insisted on having tea with him. The both of them talked, and when Lao Tzu was about to get up a knee. Yin Shi actually requested Lao Tzu to compile his teachings in the form of a book. That book contains about 5,000 5, Chinese characters and is divided into two parts. And is divided into two parts. And that book later came to be known as the Tao Te Ching. Or Lao Tzu was a Chinese philosopher and a writer. He is widely credited for writing the Taoist, ta Taoist um, classic classic which is the Tao teaching. Uh, so, uh, so Taoism is a philosophy which teaches the life of ease, living in harmony with the nature. Uh, living in harmony with the nature. Tao or Tao actually translates to the path, way or path uh, or principle or the message. So a metaphor that Lao Tzu often used was the river. So he says that we should be like river, it flows downwards. When hindered by a rock, when hindered by a rock, it does not move the rock but flows around it. So this means that we should live in alignment or harmoniously with nature, with nature, not against the nature. So another important uh, teachings in the Taoism is the yin and yang, or good or evil. He says that it resides in both of them resides in us and we cannot separate the two. So I think that it is very different from the Western religion where both good and evil are two separate entities. So Lao Tzu emphasizes, emphasized not to follow one's design, goals or achievement, ambitions but rather to find your own natural flow uh, which, which is zira, which literally means naturally, which means naturally. So. Uh, it is, an important value. It, it is an important Taoist value which emphasizes natural creativity and spontaneity.